Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we are looking at the limited time Aaron Rodgers. First things first, I have to say it before we even start this video. I bought this card for 1.9 million. Do not buy this card for anything over a million coins. If he, if you really want to use the card and he's 1.3, don't even buy him. Don't worry about it. Act, act like he's not even in the game, okay? If he gets down to like 900, 800, do I love the buy? No. But if you want to use Rogers, sure, go for it. I know me. I'm going to be selling this card back immediately and waiting for his price to fall. That is the plan. But so here's the thing with Aaron Rodgers. People were asking me, you know, if Rodgers got a card, how could he be good in the meta and things like that? So we have, you know, we have fast QBs that get crazy ability stacks. And what needed to happen was Aaron Rodgers had to get either an AKA or some kind of Thursday promo. Because we all know Rodgers cards in past years of Ultimate Team, they've been king. The releases, is the release is always butter. The stats are always good. So that's kind of the main two things that you're looking for. But, you know, this year with the abilities and the pre-lit X factors and all these different things, um, you kind of need a perfect storm for your quarterback to be the best. And uh, Aaron Rodgers, they did the best that they could with the weekly wildcard limiteds. You know, there's, of course, a structure. And they did the best that, that, that they possibly could. They really did. So the speed, you know, 80, 81 speed on a non-theme team, not great. He's not Lamar. He's not Bo. He's not Anthony Richardson. He's none of those guys. Um, but should have good enough stats, right? The stats are good enough. Unfortunately, stats don't mean too much when abilities are so relevant in a Madden game. But, you know, for the abilities, they did the best that they could. 2 AP, 7 feet lead, not bad. And then either 1 AP, hot route master, or free gunslinger, not bad. Not really genuinely not awful. Uh, for, much better than I thought they were going to do him. But still, it's not great. You know, no special X factors, things like that. Um, is he even a top five QB in the game? Probably not. I'm not even sure where I, where I would really rank him. We're obviously going to use the card today. And me being a Jet, if I wasn't a Jets fan, would I be making this video today? Probably not. Pro probably not, to be honest. But uh, I do want to try Aaron Rodgers on the full Jets team. So that's why we're here today. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the video. Hey, before we do though, if you are part of that 63% of people who watch the videos and are not subscribed, let's change that right now. Head down and hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications. I love you and let's get into the video. And yes, by the way, tonight I will be live for the team of the year reveals. Every single year, team of the year gets revealed. I will be live for that. I might, I might go live on YouTube as well for reveals. Maybe I don't know. I'm still considering it, but I'll definitely be live over on Twitch at 6 30 Eastern time tonight, a little bit earlier, because that's when the stream is gonna be starting. And there's Aaron Rodgers. Slinger one. I forgot I was doing a Aaron Rodgers gameplay to be honest, and I'm already running RPOs and I'm already getting loose. And I'm already I probably could have scored, but it's okay. It, it, it I would rather I, I accidentally went out of bounds. I it, yeah. All right, let, let's keep slaying the rock. I gotta throw the ball on the field. I forgot I was doing I was forgot I was doing a video. And yeah, Aaron Rodgers is kind of like the first player that got hurt to really get an upgrade i mean minka didn't get hurt but still there's no minka upgrade but like guys like uh you know uh, hide um and we're gonna have this open if we have a little more time we do not have enough time um you know uh trevon diggs another example of a card that got hurt during the year and didn't get an, and didn't get another upgrade nick chubb um i'm just trying to i'm just trying off the top of my head i'm trying to think of some i guess kirk cousins hasn't gotten an upgrade yet i, I guess he would be one right would he be yeah he'd be one he he'd definitely be one for sure i'm blocking bow He's on Darnell Savage. I don't really care about what he's doing over there. We got man-to-man -man route tech on the outside. Rodgers, of course, he's going to have that sweet release. He's going to be butter from the pocket. But unfortunately, there are cards. You know, like Selena 1, I think, is number two this year. In my opinion, I've used pretty much all of the top-end quarterbacks. I think Slinger 1 is number two, and I would put traditional four at number one. That's that's what I would do. Um, This guy's already going to quit the game. We're going to get into another. But, you know, just them, there being these, like, demigod qbs that can run and do everything jump throw it's make guys miss throw the deep ball with a perfect release those guys you just can't compete with those guys they got special x factors and abilities and all this stuff all this stuff it makes it makes it tough to compete all right here we go already into game number two with aaron Rodgers, and i already mentioned it at the beginning of the video but do not buy this card for what he's going for i, I mean i i if i didn't have things i had to do today i would have sat there and watched this price fall but unfortunately you know, don't have time to sit there and watch his price fall. It was just happening too slow. So I just bought him for 1.9 million. Don't be like me. Be patient with this card. Because again, if you really want, if you really want to use Aaron Rodgers, juke, juke again, juke again. One more time, juke, 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 juke. Another first down for Bo Jack. But 
you know, I, I think this card will probably end up at like 800k, 700k before Redux. Um, pretty easily. I just, you know, the weekly wild card promo, there's no hype around it. No one cares about these cards. They're usually all ass. So, you know, that's that's what that's why there's you know, the people who want to buy cards, they need the players that are money spent to open packs and pull the limited times. That's just how the market works. But we we look ahead, A, we got route tick on the outside, backside, B route, low pass lead would have cooked, but unfortunately you're out of time. All right, if it is man to man again, we're gonna stick with the drag here. We could have the flat as well. Um, I'm gonna hit that B route over the middle. He's just far too slow with that Tatum card. The KO is too late. And there we go. Xavier Leggett with a first down. Aaron Rodgers, again, the release is butter. The release is butter. We know this. We already know this. That's why I'm kind of surprised they gave him Gunslinger because, I mean, I guess if you don't need Hot Route Master, having free Gunslinger doesn't hurt. It would probably be the abil other ability I would want. Maybe Fearless. If they, I mean, they're not really giving that out for cheap yet. So to be fair, they're not really giving that one out. Uh, we should have a little pass lead here. Tough ball, and we just miss it. Poor accuracy out of reach. Well, I remember. So the other day, someone commented on my video and said like something about how they want to see the quarterback throw on the run. I forgot I used to do that. I forgot I always, I always, I always used to at least once try to roll out and throw the ball on the run with the quarterback that I'm trying to do a game play on. So thank you for reminding me of that. Um, I will do it now. Um, that wasn't much of a deep one, but you know, Slinger one, Slinger one is, it's okay on the run. It's not like, it's not like crazy. But when you're going left, if you want to throw on the run, good luck. Cause that is, that's nasty. That is some nasty work. That's your real peppers out there. I mean, flat is open. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna take that B route and we almost throw a pick. We almost have the post route too. Things are open. We're gonna go for it. Drive kind of stalled here uh, for whatever reason. I think I'm gonna keep the running back in on this play. And I think I can get, I'm gonna go, can we just go slant here? I don't hate going slant here, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see if we can, see if we can, see if we can open here. Nothing's really open. I kind of got that tight window. Ball going somehow. He plays that. Wow. All right. I'll see you boys back on offense. Dude, that was almost the dot. It's so close. I'm surprised that that guy played that, to be honest. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'll see you boys back on offense. And I am getting some man-to-man -man vibes here. So what we want is the route tech to hopefully cook on that outside with Darius Hayward Bay. It does. We trust it. Rodgers is open. Rodgers got it. 99 speed. Juke. We got evasive. Okay, where are you going? Where are you? Oh, cut that. Definitely should have juked at least one more time there. Definitely. Is it going to be man-to-man -man again? I don't know what this play is. I don't know. I've never really run it before, but that bow route looks quite unique to me. That's that's the one I want to throw. Look at that. That wasn't bad. If, that guy's, if you're using a linebacker there, you kind of have that dig behind the ear situation. Even wide receiver under, not bad. Is it going to be Darius Hayward Bay and my slot guy staying with the slot? It is. I do enjoy that. Looks like, um, doesn't actually look like man to man to me. And the way he's using peppers makes me think he wants to well, have that. I really don't. And again, you know, the, the amount of speed Rodgers has, it gives you enough to, to, to do things like that. Is he Lamar Jackson? No, but you can roll out. You can still like slot up the pocket like that. Uh, with this speed, it's just just putting that out there. Obviously, not much of a threat, but it's better than like 58 speed that we may, we, that we may have seen on like a pass like Brady card or someone like that. We're gonna go to the run here. Bo's got the angry runs. We're gonna gain four yards easy. Tight Y off week. Kind of a formation I'm rocking with right now. Tight Y off week. I gotta remember this one. You know, I don't venture out of my main couple plays, and th this one I do like, especially with the hot route master being able to freestyle a little more. These kind of unique zig routes from my uh for my running back i like i don't if this is man to man i actually do not think that i don't think that anyone's guarding bo jackson just based off lineup and personnel it was zone but it didn't matter we're gonna score either way and there we go another touchdown wait was that our first touchdown no, no we don't no we scored one no that was our second that was our second touchdown okay that's what, from that same formation what is it called again tight y off week i like that i like that a lot let's try the uh let's try the let's try the read option again here for the two point didn't get a good read last time. Maybe he'll dive this time. Maybe he'll dive. Oh no, he, he does not want to dive. He wants Bo to have it instead of he wants. He would rather have Bo take it than Aaron Rodgers. Interesting, interesting decision. Very bold. Okay, so don't go anywhere. We're still gonna have more gameplay on the other side of this, but let's do the final report. We're gonna do the final report, then we're gonna put more gameplay on the back end of this. Um, so Aaron Rodgers, final report. I'm gonna give him 18 stars. 18 stars for Aaron Rodgers. The reason for this is physical. I got to knock him down one star for the speed because we do have fast QBs with good throw power now in the game. So I do have to knock him down 
at least one star there for abilities also that's what other stars coming off of this card um it doesn't get the x factors and the flexibility that we've seen on quarterbacks this year it's not necessarily you know it, it, it's just the structure of the promo these cards are not designed to be meta they're not designed to be good so um i mean he's good but not elite he's not top one debatably you know what i mean he's no aka like aikman or you know Bo or you know richard he's not he's not those guys who i think are all 20 star players um but uh yeah i, I would give um rogers 18 stars pretty happy with that i might buy this card back once he gets down to about 600k but for now he's going right back to the auction house all right here we go let's get one last drive here with aaron Rodgers, who you know as a jets fan we should talk about aaron Rodgers. you know aaron Rodgers got hurt four plays into the season and as a jets fan was it one of the worst days of the year yeah and i did tear my acl this year that me personally tore it myself but Aaron Rodgers tearing his Achilles actually hurt me more. That one actually hurt me more. But, you know, the, the Jets, will they be better next year? Well, I think the problem with the Jets is honestly going to come down to this. As an honest Jets fan, some people might call me delusional. The, the, the coaching staff suck. That, that's, that, I'm just saying that right now. I like Salah. I like the defensive side of the ball. But on offense, they suck. That is what it's going to come down to whether you Rodgers or not. The thing that's good about Aaron Rodgers that really no other quarterback in the NFL, um, you know, he can kind of be his own offensive coordinator. You know, he can kind of do things how he wants them. You know what I mean? You don't really need anyone up in a booth telling you what to do when you're Aaron Rodgers. You know what I mean? Um, so that's, what, that's at least a plus, but I, I'm telling you, I, I just don't know how it's going to work with Nathaniel Hackett in that booth, man. I mean... I, I don't know. I, that's just my honest opinion as a Jets fan. And, um, you know, they're, they're losing some names, some edge rushers. We'll see. We'll see who they get in free agency and things like that. But um, the way the team looks right now, they, they need a lot before um, I'm, I'm going to be convinced again after this heartbreaking of, after this heartbreaker of a season that uh, we just went through. You know, you, you, you get uh, Sam Darnold. You get Adam Gase. You, 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 you then go through two years of Zach Wilson. They get Aaron Rodgers. You're happy. The playoffs. That you're. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it, man. They run out Monday Night Football, and then it's all gone, man. And you're right back to Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you're right back to Zach Wilson, and you realize that Nathaniel Hackett isn't shit without Rodgers. That's really what. That was really what. That was really it, right there, man. That was really it. I mean, you do have a broken tackle. You yak him up, and oh, I almost, I almost skirted him. Almost skirted him, but I, mean, I wanted this to be a flat route. Definitely not going to be man coverage, but maybe we can create some kind of flood concept on the backside. We should. Nah, it's going to be a tough ball. Got to come down with it. We got Darius Hayward Bay for the touchdown. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you boys tonight. Live, 630, Twitch. Come through. I'll see you there. Have a good day.